Assalamu alaikum. Wa salam. So we are entering into the season of Ramadan, pre-season of Ramadan. So I would love it if you'd share with us some highlights of your journey into Islam. Uh, alhamdulillah, I grew, up, um, I grew up as a Hindu in a Hindu household. My parents are from India. I'm born and raised in Canada, though. And uh, I was exposed to life in the temple and doing yoga and, and these types of things growing up. Um, and then when I reached high school, I went through a phase where I had uh, best friends who were involved in uh, Christian missionary work. And so I began to be exposed to different um, ideas, different faiths. Uh, I went through a little atheistic period as well when I was a youth. So I started thinking about spiritual things quite early. Um, and then some things in my life, you know, made me rebel a little bit and want to try something else, you know, that, you know, the kind of typical uh, late high school, late, late teenage phase. So by the time I got to uh, university, um, when I was studying uh, in university, I got to know Muslims and get a little closer to Muslims. And that allowed me to at least lower the guard of my stereotypes against Muslims. And, uh, and that's when I decided to look into Islam. And, uh, and, and I found it the most appealing religion, both spiritually and intellectually to me, and the other thing was that the Muslim community was so warm that the way that they were, the brotherhood and the sisterhood in, in Islam was something that really attracted me at the end of the day and the rest is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it's been, that's, that was in uh, 2001, so, yeah. SubhanAllah. Yeah. Well, thank you, that's a wonderful story. So tell us about your first Ramadan. My first Ramadan was probably before I became Muslim. I mean, if you really think about it. So I, when I was Muslim, when I before I became Muslim, um, hmm, how do I how do I uh, how do I explain this? So I had a friend who I was really in love with, and um, she uh, was a Muslim fasting, and uh, I I decided to try it out to kind of see what it's like. So because uh, I can't eat besides something, we're all, if we're all in a friends group. We were all in a group of friends, and um, you know, alhamdulillah, she's practicing Muslim, and I like this girl. So she was fasting, so I decided to try to fast, fast as well. And uh, and I found it very, you know, obviously it's difficult in the beginning, but there's a lot of, you know, there's a kind of a cleansing process that takes place. Uh, and that was before Islam. Then months later, when I, I looked into Islam and researched it, alhamdulillah, I became uh, Muslim, and that was separate from this friend. And then. Uh, and then I experienced Ramadan, you know, as a Muslim, and of course I was able to just kind of come into it and enjoy all of the uh, the, the benefits and the beauties of fasting. The, the interesting thing, though, is your first Ramadan, you you're not living a, a Muslim life that is necessarily 100%, you know, on the on the mark. But it's being in Islam and in Ramadan is so much better than what you were in before. That no matter where you are, it's a spiritual Ramadan. Even though you can look back and say, oh, I was still doing that, and I was still doing that, and I was still doing that, and maybe I didn't know the rules so well. But for us, it, it, was, it was a beautiful thing. And so that's, that's the amazing thing about Ramadan. It's the mercy of Allah that you feel, and not judging yourself based on all of your many, many faults, which we still have today. Alhamdulillah. Um, do you prepare for Ramadan? Sometimes, yeah, I do. I do try to prepare for Ramadan by trying to increase my Quran, my Quran reading, mm -hmm. which throughout the year, you know, drops, uh, you know, in a way that I don't like it. And uh, and I would like to, you know, when Ramadan starts coming around, I start saying, oh my gosh, like did I make a make a khatam of my last reading? And am I, am I ready to start like from the beginning? So what usually happens, I start to you know finish up what I was reading on before, what, you know, my Quran reading, to start fresh in Ramadan. And then the other thing is, you know, try to do a couple of nafil fasts sometime before. Um, and just preparing preparing Ramadan means planning how you're going to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thinking about what you're going to do, where you're going to go, what goals do I have in Ramadan, setting aside books that I want to read, um, goals that I want to achieve, uh, and then the rest is just looking forward to the mercy of Allah. And then that. What do you cherish most about Ramadan? What I cherish most about Ramadan is hmm, that's a good question because there's so many things about Ramadan. <laughs> like how, so how do you, yeah how do you how do you define something so special in one one word? Um, to be honest, what I what I love most about Ramadan is uh, I like I like the family feeling because remember Allah is there in in Ramadan outside Ramadan, 
But the idea of collectively worshipping, everyone sitting down and breaking fast at the same time, then going to the masjid at the same time, then praying at the same time, for me the collective aspect is something that is most special about Ramadan. Um, and of course, when you do that, it, all, it, it brings home the point that we're supposed to focus on Allah during Ramadan even more than we do normally. So when you're in that group, it's encouraging to, 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 you know, to worship Allah. So that's what I love most about it. Alhamdulillah. And then that leads to my final question. Um, with regards to Eid celebration, how do you celebrate? So because I've been moving around, I was living in the Middle East for many years, and I've just been back in the West for about a year and a half. My Eids are still, they're kind of like everything, every time is a different one. You know, so, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, in 12 years when I was living in Jordan, it was just, you know, one style of Eid celebrations. And then I was living in the West Indies in the Caribbean in Trinidad for some time. That's a different, completely different type of Eid celebration. Now I've come back to Canada and I'm I'm the imam sometimes for Eid now. So it's just, it's just a completely different experience. And I'm just enjoying what it means to have Eid in North America now and like really getting to learn about it. Subhanallah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking time with us and thank you. answering our questions. Thank it's you. Thank you very much.